Hello, I present specialized cross trail sport in size large from 2016. As you can see, this bike is quite heavily modified and there is not much left of the stock, quite poor equipment provided by specialized. Apart from frame, the only original parts are grips, handlebar, stem, clamp and seat post with this terrible yoke with two parallel bolts used also on Scott bikes that I talked about in my previous videos. If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. Crosstrail, even though most of its part was replaced with much better components, needs a bit love and cleaning, and probably few of you have already noticed some problems with it. For example, two long and wrongly attached cables, which did only visual but unrepairable damages, worn out and badly mounted grips that broke because of that, ugly, uncomfortable and heavily saddle, and 160mm front rotor that is too small to work properly with basic Shimano brakes. Another problem is one by 10 drivetrain with odd generation of XT derailleur without a clutch, so chain rattle like crazy. And the cherry on top is Acer Santo Ride on 29 fork, designed for mountain bikes, with almost twice as much travel as stock and EX fork. 29 inch wheels I do not consider as a mistake because a lot has changed since 2016. And now, wider rims are no longer strange thing on gravel, fitness and cross bikes. In this configuration, Specialized weighs 12.3 kg and after servicing and cleaning, now it looks like this. Links to parts I used you can find in the upper right corner and in the description. The first thing was replacing drivetrain with XT8000 derailleur with a clutch and a new Decas narrow white chain ring. I also modified the path of derailleur cable, which is now fully covered, because there is nothing worse than a bare cable on a down tube that collects all of the dirt from the road. I put on new, lightweight seat posts and oval saddle made by Velo, so it has the same shell as Dark Moon Leaf Pro, only thinner filling, which is why it is so light. I also replaced grips with new ergonomic Pro X with clamps. Shortened the cables and I put on bigger 180mm rotors on the front because now bike will really need it. But the most important thing is a new Air Suntor NCX fork with 63mm of travel and tapered steering tube, which I installed thanks to ZTO 4444 headset. After these changes, I restored this cross trail to the correct geometry, and now it weighs 11.5 kg. It looks a lot better, is lighter, and with Continental Terra Trail tires, is also very fast. In my opinion, it is now interesting competition for extremely overrated and overpriced gravel bikes. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!